I love tools. Uh, one of the reasons is because it really is one of the defining factors that separates mankind from the animal kingdom. Because we use tools. We use tools for building kingdoms. We use tools for industry. We use tools for survival. And a really good tool, uh, there's nothing better. Uh, it helps you to perform your task much quicker. And one of the most important tools that man has always depended on is a good knife. In fact, if I only had one tool in a survival situation, it would be a knife. Hands down. Uh, not even close to anything else. Uh, it is a spe has a special place in history. Used as implements of war, uh, self-defense, food preparation, uh, taking care of tasks in camps and around the house. And so to me, there's nothing better than a good custom knife. Something that fits me something that fits what I like and there's nothing better than a handmade knife to me one that's really quality made this is the mountain survival knife by Joseph Becker from Becker Forge uh, he makes really high quality knives and this is one that I actually commissioned from Joseph and this is something very reminiscent of what my grandfather would have something rugged something utilitarian but of high quality Something that he would depend his life on. He was a no-frills guy. He was a man's man. And, you know, what his tools were, he used. And he depended on his tools. In fact, I have a lot of his original tools in my workshop. And I still use them to this day. So this was a really special blade for me. In fact, I haven't been this excited about a knife in a long time. It's made from 1075 high-carbon steel. Uh, which I really love the cutting effect of high-carbon steel over stainless and a lot of others. And these are made directly from steel stock. In fact, there's a video that he has on his YouTube channel that's just fantastic. And it's Becker Forge. I'll have the link down below. In fact, he actually shows a video making this knife in particular and all the processes that go into it. Uh, it has a 6-inch blade. It is, again, 1075 uh, high carbon steel. It is flat ground. Very well done. And then it has a hammered finish on the rough areas right here has a nice swedge, comes together, very thick as you can see, and that's one of my big things I like. Uh, it's actually about a quarter of an inch, it's .24 inches in thickness. So it really has a nice solid spine to it. It is obviously full tang, which is another prerequisite of, of what I would like. Um, I did want the wood handles because of the vintage look, and you can get uh, paracord handles as well, but this is an African wood. He actually carves this and polishes it to fit uh, the tang itself. It has copper rivets or tubes that are fit down in. And then this is secured uh, with JB Weld and then he holds it and gets it secured in. And so it's going to have a really hard finish. In fact, JB Weld is much like metal. I've used it for different things over the years and it is a really strong uh, you know, compound that will hold these on very well. This can also be used as a lanyard hole in the back, and then we have a hole down here uh, right in front of where a choil would be, and this is your guard. So this really helps to make it a good fighting knife. If you get a hold of this, or if you're cutting, you don't have to worry about your hand slipping forward. It gives you a really nice shelf here to get hold of. Now the blade does come to a very sharp point. Swedge comes down. It's still going to be really strong but it's going to have really good piercing and drilling capability. Then it has a convex edge, which is really sharp. And I'm going to tell you how I know that. I cut my hand as soon as I pulled this out of the box. Uh, he does have a kydex sheath that goes with it. Now, for me, I chose no sheath because I'm going to have my buddy uh, John Jackson at Jackson Leatherwork. He's going to make a custom sheath for this, and I'm going to show that as well. So, guys, I'll just tell you, this is just a real personal project for me. I know I show a lot of things that are made uh, in different processes, whether they're, you know, from a manufacturing company or even some custom stuff. But this particular knife is really something that I personally chose and the project is just for me. And so I just thought I'd bring you along on it. Here we see jimping on the bottom. This is hand done. I mean, this, this knife, and it's the reason I wanted it, was it's pretty raw. Now he does have other knives on his website that are more finely finished. This was particularly my want. I just wanted this look. And he did a fantastic job. In fact, uh, I wanted this to have a kind of a patina look to it. And he does this mustard patina. And it was it's really nice. In fact, he even demonstrates it uh, on the video. Now, he does a proprietary heat treating process. 
and it allows for a very hard edge that's durable and yet a somewhat softer spine so it's not going to break. Uh, so you can really use this thing in the woods. In fact, uh, you know, he actually quenches this down at 1650 degrees and then he goes and tempers the blade. The process on it and just the feel and the smell, I mean, it's just excellent. So we're going to take this out and we're going to do some tests with it. And we're going to put it through some different trials. And, and I'm going to find out, you know, what I want to do with this knife because it's really, I love it. And I want to test it as much as you want to see a test. And so we're going to check it out, find out if this is really what Joseph Becker says that it is. I have a really strong suspicion that it is. So one of the first tests is paper test. Very slick. Going to make some small little cuts, feathers for fire. Cuts right into this cedar with no problem. Of course, the ability to baton is important, even through this hard cedar. This cedar, man, it smells good, makes great fire tender. This knife is up to the task. You can get your small little shavings, you can get your small twigs, you can get your bigger twigs, and of course you can get your logs all with this knife. Right here at the guard, the jimping right here is perfect for your fire steel. It really gets a good grip and uh, it's really rough. I like to take a little bit of Vaseline cotton ball. I've always kept that around with me. It doesn't take a second for it to light up. The great thing about this knife is it already looks like it's had years of experience. So go ahead and put some more years of experience on this baby. I'm looking forward to it. The Mountain Survival Knife with the paracord handles runs $200. Uh, with the wood, the African wood grips, it runs uh, $250. Now, this is one of the most expensive knives on his website. A lot of his small custom handmade knives are anywhere from $50 and up, which honestly, that is a very reasonable price. So I think you ought to go check it out because I think he's putting together a really excellent line of different type knives. He can do custom knives for you, whatever you request. And of course, you can go to his website at uh, beckerforge.com. These have a lifetime warranty on them. Uh, he just stands behind these knives and he says, you can take it out there and abuse it. And, you know, it, I will stand behind my work. Um, of course, you know, if you take it out as a sledgehammer and beat the fire out of it somewhere, I mean, that's one thing. 
but using it in everyday situations very hard this knife is going to hold up or Joseph Becker is going to replace it just the way it sounds beautiful having a really solid knife that you can depend on uh, again this is the one survival tool if no other that you need in a bad situation having a good knife and having a custom knife from Becker Forge um, I highly recommend it Joseph Becker at Becker Forge thumbs way up be strong be of good courage God bless America long live the Republic aren't as uh, they're more finely polished they're more uh, more custom looking just or more finely uh, finished I guess that's okay. I know I show a lot of things that are handmade that you got on your I know I show a lot of things that are the great thing about the mountain survival knife you put it through his paces it looks just the same you haven't aged a bit baby and I mean it <laughs> all right videos over come on fire hurry up <laughs>